It's early in Davidson, and Zoe Almquist is back at home. She was on campus before sunrise, leading a film session with her Davidson field hockey team. She was breaking down the Cats' last game and their next opponent. But now, her players are in class, and it's wake-up time at home. Hi, buddy. Hi. Did you sleep, 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 sleep? Did you have a good night? Can we take this guy out? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. A former standout at Northwestern, Umquist long dreamed of being a mother and a college head coach. She just didn't know she would fill the roles for the first time at the same time. I think the thing that's tricky about uh, coaching and also being a mom, the two things that are the same, is that uh, no two days ever look the same. So you kind of just like never know what you're going to get and you just have to kind of roll with it and try to plan as, as best as you can. But um, I think like being a mom and coaching at the same time, there's nothing quite as far from a regular nine to five <laughs> as this. Cyrus arrived last October. Omquist began coaching at Davidson in April and moved to town from Chicago with Cyrus and her husband, Keith. Now, life is busy. Yeah, we did a lot at once, I think. But that's okay, we were ready for it. And uh, we were excited, we knew that that's, we knew that that could be how, um, how this all happened if it, if it really went the way we thought it, it might. And so I think we were as ready as we could be. In year one with the Wildcats, Omquist has seen progress marked by hard work and breakthrough moments, including shutting out A-10 foe St. Louis and holding nationally ranked Wake Forest scoreless in open field play in a tightly contested 2-1 loss. More wins, she's confident they're on the way. Regardless of what we've seen on the scoreboard in terms of the final score, there's been just so much that we've moved in the right direction in terms of the way that we approach things um, on a day-to-day -day basis. We've kind of, we're really focusing on that high performance mentality. So, you know, we focusing on recovery. We're thinking about um, the previous game and how we want to, you know, focus our efforts moving forward. Cyrus has had his big moments as well. He took his first steps the morning after the Wildcats played at Longwood, and he turned one the day after Davidson played Wake Forest. Omquist has found a fit at Davidson. She loves what the college offers in the classroom and on the field, and in terms of a tight-knit family atmosphere as well. Nowhere does she see that more than when she sees her players interacting with Cyrus, typically after games. He loves them because he finds them so interesting and they love him, so it's a fun combo. Huh. It's a special bond. In fact, so many players ask Omquist what Cyrus was going to be for Halloween that it became a competition. Curious George won out. As the 2019 season ends, Omquist sees a bright future for her program. And a year into it, she can't help but draw a parallel between coaching and parenting. The thing that, that I think about when I'm coaching field hockey that's very similar to being a mom is in field hockey, I'm trying to build good people, so I'm educating and um, helping them grow um, as humans. Um, and that's I'm using feel like as my subject to do that, just like some other, you know, teacher might use math as their subject to help build good people. I mean, that's what we're trying to do at Davidson. Um, and then I'm doing the same thing as a mom, so I'm trying to uh, build and raise um, a good son that's going to go out and be a good human. So at the same. You know, it's kind of this, the mentality in that sense is the same. The age is different, right? The subject matter is different. And I think ideally, hopefully, we come away with life lessons on either side. Regardless of the role she's in at any given moment, Omquist is intentional and focused on what and who is in front of her. Whether she's breaking down game film, recruiting, or yeah. reading barnyard dance. The end. The end.